All right, hello. This is digital art without a tablet because you might not have enough money for a tablet like me, or you might want to learn something new. Um, that's fine. What you need is um something like Photoshop. I'm using a program called GIMP, which is like Photoshop but free. There are differences, but I don't know what they are because for this GIMP works perfect, and this is what I'll be using in the video. So first things first, you need to, well, I would recommend sketching out very, like, you don't have to worry about getting it perfect, just sketch out what it is you want to draw digitally. So this is a very bad drawing of a TV head. It's okay that it's bad because we're not using this. What we will be using is this, which is um, just a deconstruction of this. So for every section that is a different color, um, you, you, you need to put separately. You can't have it overlapping like this screen in the case. You need to have them separate. Once you've done this, you color everything in black. Um, just as a quick side note, you do not have to worry about getting the lines perfect. Uh, these two squares are not at all uh, in, in ratio. You don't have to worry about it when using an editing tool, which is why I didn't scan this picture. Most people would recommend scanning it in because it gives a perfectly white background and perfectly black ink. But I am quite lazy, so I took a picture knowing I could fix it in the editing tool. Again, GIMP. So um, here it is. You can fix the background I'm turning it properly white by going to brightness contrast, I'm turning the contrast up. And that's it. Problem solved. Digital art does give a few nice shortcuts. Let's get rid of this one. Don't know why I had that open. Oh, hello again. Here we go. So, once you're ready to start coloring in, you make a new layer. Oh, there's already a layer there. Okay. Well, you should make a new layer. Make sure you're on that layer. Make sure it's set to normal. Uh, just with the drop down, it should already be on normal, but you might or you might have settings already on your program. So just make sure. Um, and then on this on this new layer, this is where you start painting. So I'm just gonna paint these two because I don't want to waste your time um, painting the whole thing. You don't need to watch me do that. Um, and as you can tell, I'm doing it very messily. And that's fine. You don't have to worry about getting the edges. Just don't paint over the wrong component as I just did on the neck. But once you've finished, you go to mode and change it from normal to lighten only. And it fixes it for you, which is very kind. Once you're done, you merge these layers together. And that's it. You finish coloring. When you might want to do shading, but I prefer doing that right at the end, once everything's fixed. Um, so that's what I'll be showing you. So you open a new window. Don't worry about saving, it's, it's just a window. And you want to change the background color of this window, so I'm just gonna make it a pale green. And this is when you start selecting things. So you select each component individually and you do them all one at a time. Patience is involved. A lot of this process is just copy pasting. Uh, so control C. I forgot to mention, I, I selected with the free select tool, which I prefer to call the lasso because that's what the symbol looks like. So you go to your new window, and for each component, you need a new layer. So I'm gonna name this new layer the head, because it's the head. And you control V, and it's copied in. This is why you want it to change the background color, so you could notice where the white was, because you want to get rid of the white. And in order to do that, you get the, the fuzzy selection tool, or the magic wand, and you uh, you just 
click on the white and it selects it for you. You get your eraser and away it goes. And you repeat this with all your separate components. You get the lasso. You cut around it. And um, I'd just like to point out that maybe like during this process is when you'd want to start editing. Um, so I'm gonna just copy in the uh, the screen and uh, show you what I mean by that. Because the screen and the head do not match clearly. Um, so this is when I'd have to start scaling things and arranging shapes and stuff. Because these two are clearly, um, well, this isn't even straight edged, you know what I mean? So that's when I'd, I'd start uh, cleaning things up myself. But again, I'm not going to do that because I don't, I mean, it's just the eraser tool, you all know how to use that. Um, I don't want to waste your time. But eventually you'll get to the point where everything's edited in and you're happy with it. Um, this is when I would merge all the layers and then make a couple new layers for shading and stuff. I'm just going to show you the few like more common techniques used for shading. Um, so I'll just make a little green square. Oh. So what a lot of people do uh, when they shade is they use the dodge and burn tool here. Um, so dodge is, it makes it lighter, and burn, well, does the opposite and does what the name suggests. It makes things darker, so that's for shadows. Um, I have been told, like, personally to not do this, um, because it looks apparently cheap. I don't know. Uh, <laughs> But I'm not an art teacher, and I'm not going to tell you what you can and cannot use. Um, another thing people like to do, especially after they've dodged and burned, is to just smudge. Uh, which kind of makes the shading look more natural, I guess. I think with this you do have to be careful, because you end up smudging the edges of your drawing, and then that gives it a less... I don't know... Just, you want your edges to be edges, not blurs, you know what I mean? Um, what I personally like to do when I'm shading is to just select the color that I want to make a shadow of, or, and then just make get a darker version and paint with that. You don't have to worry about smudging them, it makes it nice layer by layer. But that's about it. Um, that's, I mean, there are lots of tools that you can mess around with. Uh, you can edit the brushes. You can, there are many ways to choose colors. Um, and you should be having fun and learning by yourself when you're doing art as well. Um, I'm going to show you what I actually ended up doing with my uh, TV head guy. And yeah, hold on, ready to go. Hello. Yeah, that's, you know, you can go many ways. Um, but yeah, just let me know if you have any questions in the comments. I hope this was helpful. Thank you for watching.